Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So we are in design space and we are going to look at how you work with slice layering with vinyl. So we've already done the design space work on slice layering and I'll link to it on the screen now and also in the description below. This image is from Design Bundles. Again, I'll link to that below. It is a affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does help us an awful lot to do all the things we do, like running our free virtual events in our group, UK Cricket Creators, doing our giveaways, all our testing. So it really does help if you can use the affiliate links. I've created all of my slice layers. And of course, I've sized this up and we're going to be using vinyl. So we're going to go to make it. I'm using my Maker 3 today, but you could do this on any of the machines. Obviously with Joy, just make sure that you're aware of the sizing. I'm selecting on map because I'm not going to use smart materials today. Just a tip, remember that you can use the entire area of your mat so try not to always keep it in the same corner try and use everywhere on your mat i'm just going to check each of my layers and then go to continue i can then select my vinyl materials if you're on one of the dial machines like the explore or the air 2 if you haven't got this all you need to do is set your dial to more materials and you'll then see a screen like this. You can select browse all materials and you can then choose all the different vinyls that are available to you. You always want to use a standard grip mat with vinyl and you always want to do it. You'll see that the back of all vinyl has got like either a white or a gridded sheet. Sometimes it's cream, but it's always like a papery or a plasticky material. And then you've got your actual vinyl carrier sheet down. And then you want to come in with a brayer or a non-stick roller. And make sure that that is nice and secured to your mat. No air bubbles, no creases, nothing like that. You can use a scraper, but with something like a gloss or a high shine vinyl, I advise wrapping a little bit of fabric or felt around it so that you don't scratch the surface. I can then load this up. and press my go button. I can then unload my mat. And I normally like to keep it on the mat for when I peel back. And another trick I like to do is I like to remove, especially if it's got an outline and it's a thin outline, I like to remove the inner areas first because it will stop the outline from sliding about. It doesn't always happen and certainly not with an image like this but if it was a really small text and the text had inner pieces I would remove the inner pieces first and then come in and remove the excess outline. To remove it from my mat, I always turn it over and then remove like so. You don't want to over bend your mat, so come at it from different angles. And there we go, we have our first layer.
So we can now start transferring our layers. Now there's different schools of thought on this. Some people like to layer onto the carrier sheet and then transfer it all across to the item. Some people like to do a layer at a time on the item. Today I'm going to show doing it all on the carrier sheet and then transferring it as one. And then in another video I will show the singular technique. There's also two ways in which you can transfer these. Because we've got this outline, we can simply place it on nice and easy. However, if your hands are a bit unsteady, you may still struggle. So I'm gonna show you a trick for that as well. But we're gonna start with our first layer. I've got my transfer tape here. This is just Cricut transfer tape. This is just standard grip transfer tape. You only need the strong grip transfer tape if you are working with glitter or shimmer. Sometimes it can be really, really sticky. So what I find is I just get a pair of jeans or a non-fluff jumper and I just de-stick it a few times. Just once or twice just to take that super stick off that can sometimes be there with Cricut transfer tape. So I've just got a non-fluffy jumper and I'm just going to de-stick that. Always keep the carrier sheet for your transfer tape because it can be reused over and over again. So I've got my transfer tape and I'm going to place the sticky side down onto my vinyl. I can then use my brayer or a scraper because my vinyl's protected. And you always want to turn it over and do it from the back as well. And then you always want to remove from the back because it gives you a lot more control. And rather than pulling, I roll it back. We can then bring it over to our base image and I'm just gonna gently hover it. Like so. Again, use my scraper. and then roll back my transfer tape. Again, I'm not pulling it up, I am rolling it back. I can then come in with my brayer and just give that a nice little roller. The other option, as I say, is if you are a little bit shaky on the hands or your hand-eye coordination isn't great, you can use something like tracing paper, wax paper or a parchment to help you really get it lined up perfectly. So what I want to do is put the wax or the parchment over the area and I want to make sure that the top of the transfer tape doesn't make contact yet until I've got it perfectly in place. That bit of transfer tape that's overlapping, I can then push that down onto my transfer area. and just, I can then just pull out my wax paper, like so, and place that down. I can then use my scraper or my brayer and then again just roll that off rather than pulling it. And then again just use my brayer to get that all nice and secure.
always peel from the back it gives you a lot more control and if you find that any pieces haven't stuck you can just roll it back and give it an extra scrape again we can get that perfectly lined up and then come in with our brayer. So we've now transferred that whole image onto the carrier sheet. So what we can now do is take our piece of vinyl, put it over the whole thing. And again, this is the same piece of vinyl, sorry, this is the same piece of transfer tape that I'm using. Give it a good scrape from the front. And then a good scrape from the back. And we can then peel that backing off. We've then got our surface. You want to make sure that's nice and clean. You could use a uh, baby wipe and then let it dry or some alcohol wipes they work great the Zeiss lens cleaners work really good for cleaning things like glass and just making sure that a surface is nice and clean we can then place that down onto our surface again use our scraper and then again what we want to do is roll it back rather than pulling it off And another trick, if you're ever struggling to get something off the transfer tape, use your scraper, bring the transfer tape over onto your scraper and push down and pull your transfer tape back. And that will help a lot with the transfer. My transfer tape still got life in it, so I can put it back onto its carrier sheet. And there we go. We have our sliced layered project we've got all these different materials and layers in there because nothing sat on top of each other if we wanted this is a textured so we couldn't really place anything on top of that but because it's all sat within each other we're not limited as to where or when we can use this in the process as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do leave them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!